pass me that y'all, bitch, I'm on that y'all tree. Y'all could dog a list, bitch, I'm on that y'all, and they got me paranoid. Y'all trick, this that y'all, bitch, y'all could dog a list, bitch, I'm rolling bud, and they got me paranoid. Y'all trick, son, where'd you find this? Y'all could dog a list, trick, I'm on that y'all, and they got me paranoid. Y'all trick, this that y'all, bitch, y'all could dog a list, bitch, I'm rolling bud, and they got me paranoid. Y'all talk, slit your bitch here, y'all. She wanted the y'all. Flick it on pillow talk. He just made the work bubble. Not no Air Max with the mini air bubble. Ain't no rock in my sock, cause I got the jaw holder. Bitch, that screaming, man. Don't call me, man. Bitch, I'm making a What's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Trey K. The Flicker Man. And you tuned in to another episode of Whips and Flaps. Alright, you guys. So the. Been working on the uh, 2007 uh, Silverado. Been hearing a lot of different noises and stuff on a lot of roaring and clanks and popping. Started with the brakes first. I ended up doing the brakes. That stopped some of the noise. I did need brakes, but after that, we still had like a roar, bad roar. And we thought it was hubs and shit. I was going to order the set online on Amazon, but for these Silverados, um, man. Every little part and shit, every little, every little model and sub model got different parts. So just cause it's the same year and got the same drivetrain and all that's the same motor, don't mean that it got the same part. It could be another little subsection and the parts is all different. So I've been having hell with this uh, buying parts for this truck. Just going in asking, okay, I got this kind of truck this year, this motor. And whatever parts they give me, they never fit. They never fit on the truck. I end up having to, so far, everything that I done bought, I end up having to take it off and go up there. And um, I've been having to take it off and go up there and show them the old one just so they can line it up. Like just going up there telling them what truck I got and what year it is, they, they never give me the right parts. But anyway, okay, so had to um, do something with the, um, after I did the brakes, all right, we did um, the tie rod, and we seen that the tie rod had play in it. And um, when I hit a bump, I was getting some, like, play a sound like something was shaking up in the front, so we was like, man, that might be it. So we started on that next, did the brakes, then the tie rods and stuff, and then um, we still was getting, Still was getting plus, still was getting this noise and this roaring. He like, man, shouldn't be no roaring coming from there. He like, that's you like a hub or something. And we um we was going to AutoZone to get something because I was getting a little grinding too. I was getting a grinding when I stuffed. So I was think I just did the brakes and I usually put the little brake grease on there. The little silence is gone and stuff. But um this time I didn't put it on there. And um, the brakes was loud. Well, it sounded like it was. So I'm like, so I went and got some of the brake grease. And while we was up there, he had got under the car and seen that um, my drive shaft was loose. So all the bearings and stuff had fell out. So we ended up doing that. I had to do the drive shaft, the uh, hub, the hub assembly on the drive shaft, the hub bearings on there. And um, Sounding good now. The truck is sounding good and sounding better, but just uh, did the tie rod, so the wheel alignment is out of whack. I'm on my way to go do that this morning, so all right, I'm gonna tune in when I'm pulling up in there. As you guys can see, I'm steering straight. Yeah, see my steering wheel. I ain't had this problem, man. When I hit bumps, it's makes it jerk and shit. I ain't had this problem before I did the uh tie rod in so we on our way up here now to try to get this wheel alignment man i can't be riding like that man all right you guys we pulling up to the spot mavis mavis tires and brakes
All right, you guys, that was a big mission incomplete. Mission incomplete, you guys. All right, so I took the truck to uh, Mavis. I had an appointment set up after I did the tie rod ends. I got an appointment to get a wheel alignment on the truck. So I went to Mavis uh, Tires and Batteries. And when I went there, they seen the wheels on the truck. And they was like, oh, no. They like, hey. They like the truck had a disease. They like, oh, no, we cannot touch that. They immediately walked away. Just turned. They like, we can't touch it. And just turned they back on me. Nothing else. No more words for me. I'm like, damn. So I called around and called around to see where I could get a wheel alignment. Um, the Firestone, it was another Firestone locally by me. I went uh, and called them, and they machine only went up to 24. So if I had the 24s on here, I could have got the uh, wheel alignment there. But then I called around and um, ended up finding one a few towns over another Firestone. They uh, had the machine to do it with the 26s. So I just end up setting up an appointment to um, put the sixes, I mean, to put the wheel alignment on. And um, and I was just thinking with my mechanic, we were sitting there thinking like, man, when I did the tie rods, because when I did the first one, like I said, getting parts for this truck has been a hassle. So when I got the first tie rod, it wasn't the right one. It didn't even screw on. It didn't even screw on to the threads, and they was like, that's definitely the one for the truck, but it wasn't. So uh, I didn't have a ride that day, so I had to put the old tie ride back on to go to the store. When I put it on, I had no problem. It, it rolled fine, rolled good. So what I end up doing is um, we end up taking, um, we end up going back and what I did was I noticed that on the new one that they gave me, the, the hole was big. The threads, the hole was way too big to screw on the thread. So when, cause it was like five or six tie rods they had to line up to. It's five, six different ones and all type of different. If you got a gear box or if you got a rack of pinion or if you got this part or that little part, all these different parts make these other parts on the truck different. So, so once I did that, um, I found one, we matched up the one. I didn't, I wasn't able to match it up because it was on the truck, but I knew from the one that they gave me that that hole was too big. So it was only one that they had with the smaller threads, it, the one with a smaller hole. So I got the one with the smaller hole and it looked more like the one that I took off. So it looked more like it. The one they gave me didn't even look like the old one. So, all right. So I put that one on and it went on. And like I say, my steering was out of whack. As y'all seen, the steering wheel was all the way sideways and all that. Okay, so like I said, I set up the appointment to get a, um to get the wheel alignment. The day before I went to go get it, I was sitting with my mechanic and we was talking over. And I'm like, man, when I went that day and we put the old one on, I'm like, the steering was fine. I'm like, that's crazy. Like, he like, uh, you know what? Let's check it out. So I still had the old one luckily i had threw it in the back of the truck the old one was back there so we took the old one off and um and we took the new one and we lined them up and sure as shit that motherfucker was a couple inches short so the fourth or fifth one still wasn't the right one the one it screwed on and everything the other ones that i had they didn't screw on but this one screwed on still it was a, a inch like two inches too short so that's what through the I end up putting the uh I end up having to go back and get another one, but I end up taking it off this time. So, like I said, I've been having hell with these parts. So once I did that, my wheel, my steering went back to normal. So I end up not going to get the uh, wheel alignment. So I saved a couple dollars on that. My steering is back straight. I ain't got no noises. So it's rolling and riding good now, you guys. Yeah, flick a man straight. He just went on the back end. So hold, bring that back. Cause this is a business. Did that money make you hard? Well, I'm hit a hook. You feel the jack one track. Blow your career off the map. Thank you, hard.
my body to that cage where you're now. Know you got a body, but it don't mean nothing to me. Killed your best friend because he fucked your old lady. Now do you feel glad? Do it really make you feel better? That's why y'all hollering business. She's still tricking off, nigga. You can't understand. Cause she treat her so good. The bitch hardcore. She's like, no, she's with us. Come on.